chicken fajitas on the black zone. I reveal my secret ingredient at the end. Hey guys, it's Ben Jeezy. Today I'm gonna to be making chicken fajitas. Before we get started, if you're a new subscriber or a new viewer, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get started. So the first thing that we wanna do when we start cooking on this Blackstone griddle is we wanna make sure we put some oil on it, we wipe it down with the towel, make it real clean, and start adding our veggies, adding everything else, and then cooking that chicken, and then basically meshing it together. All right, guys, so the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and preheat all four burners on the Blackstone, and put your oil, you wanna go ahead and scrape it, you wanna get yourself a towel and start Clean up all that gunk off of there. Here's a few ingredients that I'm gonna be using. Chicken, onion, bell peppers, garlic, salt. All right, so get your olive oil, go ahead and put it on the Blackstone. And what you wanna do is let the thing heat up. And meanwhile, I have a table set up over here on the side for my onions and bell peppers and stuff. So get your bell peppers out. I like to use yellow bell peppers, red bell peppers, orange bell, just an assortment of colors, just to make it look pretty, you know what I mean? But also, it tastes good tasting different kinds of bell peppers. Honestly, they almost taste the same, but don't tell anybody. All right, so go ahead and chop all these things up, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get my onion. And I'm gonna chop up two onions for this one. Don't chop them too thin. Make sure you make some fat cuts on them. And the way I like to cut my onion, by the way, is I get my knife, I slice the end, and then I, I make two slices on the, on, the, uh, on the end, and it makes it easier to peel. So yeah, so chop up this onion, get it ready to go, get yourself a bowl, all right? And what I do is I put all my veggies in there first. And I like to do this because the different flavors start to marinate. So I like to toss it in olive oil, all right? Get my garlic. This is the special ingredient, guys. Tons of garlic, garlic salt. All right, so I let you guys in on my secret. Lots of garlic, lots of garlic. Gotta have some soy sauce up in here. You know, it just really gives it a little bit of a tangy flavor. So I put a little bit. Honestly, I should probably should put some more of that soy sauce because it tastes really delicious. Um, later on in the video, I also add some more. So you can always add more. So get your chicken breast. I like to use the one from Costco that comes pre-packaged. So we went ahead and used two packets. And they were semi-frozen and we just kind of defrosted them. Oh, there's my son. <laughs> always come up in the mix. What's up, boy? Yeah, so he loves to help me cook sometimes. From time to time yeah so go ahead and chop these chicken breasts and cut them in like to strips all right like pretty much long strips is good enough and what i like to do is just make sure that they're all kind of like the even size but if they're not it's not too big a deal don't worry about that all right and then i'm done i'm getting ready to put this chicken in the griddle make sure it's hot and i like to use the left side of the griddle okay this is important use the left side of the griddle this one tends to be the hottest. I put a little bit more oil just so it doesn't stick. And at this point, really, it's just doing, um, it's just cooking. It takes about 15, 20 minutes um, to cook this chicken breast. So don't overcook it. That's a big, big tip. Do not overcook your chicken breast when you're making fajitas because everyone overcooks it. This is a big deal, okay? So I'm gonna show you a tip. Keep watching because there's a tip that you must know when you're doing this. This is the tip here, lower, the heat on the chicken fajitas and keep the right side hot when you go ahead and add your veggies it'll continue to cook your chicken breast at a low heat and not overcook them and then this is when you can get your veggies put them on the right side of the griddle and go ahead and cook them and once they're almost done then you mix them together you blast everything on high heat and now you're ready to go and everything's pretty much like evenly cooked all right this is the proper way to cook your fajitas all right so make sure you don't miss a step. So look at these fajitas going. I got the left and right side going. As you can see, you divide them up. And this is what a lot of uh, people are not gonna really show you on YouTube. And you know, I've been cooking for a long, long time. And this is some of those tips. I mean, my dad was a chef. My mom's been cooking. We've done weddings. I mean, we've cooked all kinds of stuff. So um, yeah, and we love to cook. So you end up figuring out some tips for the trades. Well, anyways. So at this point, what you want to do is just keep stirring this in, stirring this in. And right here, it's just about ready for me to start stirring it in. So I might go ahead and do this mix process. And all you're doing is just mixing the two. All right. And like I said, go ahead and add some more uh, garlic salt. I like to add a little bit more seasoning as the time goes on. And right here, it's still in the cooking process. Chicken's not done. Veggies are not done. So I'm going to wait till they're done. Right here, it's looking like they're pretty much about to be done. So I'm gonna give it a quick turn, uh, check them once more, and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try this chicken because 
you know, the chef's got to try the meat. Let's see how it tastes. Mm, oh my goodness. All right, add a little bit more garlic salt, a little bit more soy sauce, get some sass, get some zing in there, you know? You know what I'm saying? It's got to be, it's got to have some flavor. It's got to have some fun while you cook, too. So this is a finished product, you guys. I mean, really, fajitas is super simple. My wife was making rice inside. So I went ahead and dumped all this stuff into my bowl. And you, another thing, when you make fajitas, make sure you have some sriracha. I didn't show it in the video, but I did put sriracha. Oh my goodness, it's so ridiculous. Put the rice, and then you put the sriracha all over it. Um, oh, dude, it's out of this world. All right, guys, thanks for sticking with me on this video. Fajitas are done. Go ahead and try this out. Mmm, bro, look at that. Mmm, see that? Mmm, mm mmm, mmm. Can't stop eating it. So good. Mmm, totally recommend it. Mmm, I gotta go, guys. I gotta eat. Take these kids to soccer practice. You know how it goes. See ya. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button. Yeah. And here it is plated, you guys.